The Frank Beckman Show, News Talk 760 WJR. Congressman Mike Pompeo, the Republican from Kansas, and Judy Jasser, the man who leads the American Islamic Forum for Democracy, teamed up to stop a radical cleric from speaking in Wichita, Kansas. And, uh, boy, there's still been a response to all of this. Well, we we know that we have others among us who have been uh, unindicted co-conspirators in, uh, in in cases, federal cases, like Council on American Islamic Relations or CARE, and and yet we uh, we we sort of just accept them as well. They're they're an organization representing Muslims. We should just accept them, and we we ignore what's happened in the past too. Yeah, and and uh, you know these organizations are basically making an industry out of making Muslims into victims, uh, putting us in a siege mentality that actually is part of the radicalization pathway. And you'll find even after they canceled the speaker, they're saying, well, it was part of the, the care branch, not from Kansas, but from Dallas, where the speaker came from, is the one speaking on their behalf. So, so listen, um, Muslims can't allow ourselves to continue to be run by this mafia, which has roots in Hamas and other radical groups. And unfortunately, most of the Muslims that go to the mosque at the Islamic Society of Wichita and other organizations, the silent majority, I think, are the victims because they're run by these groups that are apologists for radical Islamic groups like Hamas. And unfortunately, our leadership needs to be called out just as Congressman Pompeo called them out and said, listen, is this really who you want to bring in as a speaker? And and use as the uh, beacon of free speech. I mean, it's absurd. Yeah, and and uh, you, you you make a great point on that. That the the congressman is not just reacting to any old speaker. It's somebody who is linked to a terror group, for heaven's sake. And and congressman, you're still getting pushback on this. You say, you know, Frank, there's lots of discussion about what happened out there. Uh, there, there were some folks who wanted to protest or said that they wanted to protest. I, I knew nothing about that, frankly, at the time. But, of course, they would have the right to protest, too. And in, in my view, what we ultimately need is to make sure everyone understands that it's not enough, as Dr. Jasser said, to push back on the folks who are just a half a step away from committing violence. The infrastructure, the education, the radicalization is the place this all begins. If we can't attack that, if we can't talk about that, if we can't uh, make sure that everyone understands that it's not appropriate to bring a speaker in who was listed in a Holy Land Foundation trial and who himself says he's part of Hamas, and then we'll never keep Americans safe of all faiths. And I think that's important. So uh, I'm happy we ended the way that we did. I wish that we hadn't had to go through this. I wish the Islamic Society, of which I had never chosen, to invite this speaker to our town. Yeah, and, and Dr. Jasser, if, if we're going to be uh, if we're going to be serious about uh, all getting along, if you will, and and, uh, and 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 recognizing that you people like you represent the majority of Muslims in this country who just want to assimilate, who want to live like everybody else in freedom, and are not linked to terror groups, then then we've got to have support to keep the bad guys, the people who do draw the Islamists, the radical extreme Islamists out of here and and we've got to acknowledge those people exist and we don't want them a part of it amen and and you know every time there's a teaching moment at an occasion in which we can expose those who radicalize our community and separate them out versus those who are part of the solution we need to do it and we need the leadership of uh, leaders like Congressman Pompeo and others who get it who are willing to take a stand and say, you know, it's just not violent extremism we're countering, but it's violent Islamism. And the Islamists that have ideologies that radicalize and separate Muslims out of our community need, need to be called out. I mean, even Frank in Detroit, uh, Dawood Walid, the head of CARE in Detroit, uh, a month ago on his Facebook page posted that Muslims should not wish Christians a happy Easter. And two days after he put that, he removed it because a Muslim in, in, uh, in Britain killed an Ahmadi Muslim because he wished a happy Easter at his store. So this type of ideology is still dominating our communities, and it's radicalizing. And, we, and unfortunately, the media that cover this don't cover what it is that individuals like Sheikh Talib are actually teaching. 
they just make Muslims out to be supposedly the victims, when in fact many of these places end up being incubators of radicalization. I didn't realize Dawood had done that. I, I know Dawood. He's been on our show a number of times. I, I'm just, I, I'm stunned to hear that he did that, and I, he ought to be ashamed of himself. I'll say it publicly. We posted right it. Now. We posted it on our Facebook page when he did it a few weeks ago. Yeah, we we appreciate that. Uh, keep a good watch, and and I hope that message can also get across to the White House, Congressman Pompeo. It's okay to call them radical Islamists, even Muslims like Dr. Judy Jasser willing to say that why aren't you in the white house it might help us identify the real threats it'd be a good start and i pray we're gonna have to wait for the next president to see that but I, I pray that this president and his administration will change course and begin to get that right it's important to keep us all safe well thanks to both of you for being on the show once again dr judy jasser from the american islamic forum for democracy and uh, I, did, did you get a christmas card from congressman pompeo last year by the way judy uh, um, I uh, we I wish him a merry Christmas and uh, uh, yes, uh, um, we do exchange uh, holiday greetings. You're, you're, you're on the list, list. <laughs> I, and, and I I didn't mean that facetiously because you're you're a Muslim, but because he sends out these holiday greetings to everybody that includes a link to his family making fudge that I went and watched. And uh, I thank you for the greeting and especially for the link to the video, Congressman. It was great. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, and Dr. Jasser, thanks again for being on the show.